We're here standing on the uh, west elevation of uh, the manor in its late November and uh, we're looking up towards the conservatory which was removed at the beginning of the 20th century and it's being put back and it's a, it's a splendid new feature on this front. And also we have two turrets on the base here to either flank of the conservatory and this one on the northern side leads around into a courtyard, a little courtyard which links the manor with what would have been Soane's kitchen block but is now of course the 1930s gallery. Well let's go and explore a bit more of the detail now. I'm going to walk down uh, towards the arches and look into the back of the turret and there are one or two surprising things here. So as we arrive here, we're in the doorway of uh, the courtyard and we're looking up to see one of the uh, features that's recently been exposed in the wall, this flue arrangement, which we're still puzzling out exactly how that operated. And we stepped through into the courtyard and I've stepped out into the canopy now. So here we would have the canopy overhead and this walkway will be coming through from the, the gallery to my right through to the basement of the manor house on the left with grassy spaces on either side of this walkway with a canopy over the top and a couple of beds uh, within the lawn areas on either side. Quite an intimate and pleasant space between the two main buildings. <laughs> 